In round one of this year's chef competition, the Penticton Supateria diners chose David Stern's sweet chili over Aaron Armstrong's ham chowder. Next, it was Abul Adame of the Kitchen at Misconduct Winery against Matt Boer of Brodu Kitchen. You get to create new things every day and you actually get to kind of work your creativity on a daily basis. Uh, in Mexico, they call it the poor people soup because it, it's very uh, hearty and rich and filling. So one bowl of these soups will get you going for the whole day. Down to the final now with David Stern up against the reigning champion, James Miller of the Elite Restaurant and his secret ingredient. A little bit of smoky heat. In a surprise contest twist in the final, the chefs had only moments to choose either a whole salmon or a whole fresh turkey. I'm uh, doing a tomato-based chowder. Uh, the salmon, corn, bacon, um, yellow peppers, red peppers, green peppers. Um, Going to be garnishing it with a, an herb cream and some, uh, some uh, apples on top. And yes, throughout the contest, the chefs garnished their soups to make the presentation as excellent as the taste. I, I really like this uh, salmon bacon one. Uh, use of apples in it. It's, and I normally don't like salmon, but I love the soup. First of all, the turkey soup was so amazing because it was warm and it's cold out today, so it was really nice, cozy soup. And the salmon soup has a wonderful texture, so it's going to be a very difficult decision. It's a great cause, giving back to the community. Um, being here, we're, again, um, something I like to do, working with the kids from the schools. Um, it's just, it's just an all in all great event. I think today was extra special. Uh, you know, James and I started this competition off last year, um, and it's very nice to go head to head with him again this year. Both David and I are chefs at downtown restaurants. Uh, we're daily seeing evidence of the need for this uh, superteria. Uh, the people who come here, we see them walking down the alleys every day. Uh, so they're our neighbors, they're, they're people who you know, they have faces, they have feelings, they have uh, needs, desires, uh, and it's, it's nice to be able to, to keep that going uh, as far as uh, feeding people on a daily basis. Definitely good to see that people, the young kids, are still interested in cooking uh, and learning how to cook. And the student chefs appreciate the opportunity to learn on the job with real chefs. I love cooking, so I thought it was a good place to get some cooking done other than school. I mean, I get to eat all the time, so it's nice to be able to help other people eat. Do you know the trick for cutting garlic quick? No, I don't. Okay, this is going to be good then. He was awesome. I, lo I love being part of the community sometimes. Like, I just like getting out there, doing stuff. I'm hoping to go to culinary arts school, to the Kelowna College. One of the things we hope to do is create interest th through this contest in the superteria and expand the volunteer force especially some younger people. And by a very close vote, the winner is announced. So it was decided by one vote, by one vote. that David is the grandstand champion.